Hello everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to talk about five different essential ways to use the cut tool or cut transition. So if you do any sort of video editing or video production in general, the cut is probably one of the most essential things involved. It's if you were stuck on an island without many tools, this is one that you'd want to make sure you have on you. So let's start with number one is just the plain old cut. This is just the default thing that happens when you place one clip next to another, is there's a cut from one clip to another. But let's move on to number two really quick. I'm sure you guys all know that one. But what are the different ways that this can start to be used? Number two is you can cut away to B-roll or cut away footage. So I have a whole separate video on B-roll that is a little more thorough. But basically, if you have your a roll footage of someone talking perhaps, especially for YouTube videos, you have a chance to cut away to a secondary footage that either gives a better look at what someone's talking at about, provides another angle, or interjects a different scene within a clip. So you can have it actually cut while the dialogue or uh, narration is still going on and that'll make it seem like it's happening at the same time almost and then cut back to the original clip or you could actually cut it in and don't start the other clip until this scene happens so this is more like if you were to do a callback or a flashback and then the other scene continues by the way if you're in premiere pro the c tool is the shortcut for cut or you can find it right here, it's the razor tool. So I have more videos on that. There's different shortcuts like ripple, delete, which also serve as a cut, and that's Q and W. But let's move on to the third thing on how to use a cut. This is another very popular one, and that is cutting between the same clip or jump cutting. So here's a little clip of me assembling an IKEA desk, and I have to pop out all these different sockets. So instead of showing this whole thing, there's a few ways that we can show the progression of time or the completion of something in like a stop motion -y kind of way. One, you could just fast forward this whole clip, you know, maybe I'll press R, get the rate stretch tool and turn it into a time lapse of sort. Or you could do jump cuts. So each time I pop one of those things open, I could just cut to those exact moments. So in the end, it's the same clip, but I've cut it only down to exactly the best moments of those sockets popping, and it'll give me a satisfying compilation of the same clip of me moving around the table. This is also one of the most commonly things I get asked is, how did someone do this? And it'll be like a magic cut type of thing where the camera is sitting still on a tripod but things magically get done on the screen or someone is on the screen and then they snap their fingers and they're off the screen. And basically what's going on there is someone's just cutting from one section of the same clip to the next where perhaps the person walked off the screen and it looks like they magically snapped their fingers and went off. So a lot of effects that I get asked, how is this done? Is like, it's just a clever cut or like a magic cut where someone changes outfits or moves. Now another thing that goes along with that, and this could go into number four, is cutting to the beat or editing to the beat. Cutting is so synonymous with editing that you almost can't separate the two. Editing footage is the same as cutting it together almost, except that editing involves other things like effects, color, uh, sequencing, all that other stuff. But cutting to the beat is part of editing to the beat and let's say we did do something like this where we jump cut the same part of the clip if we had music underneath this might be a good opportunity to make all of those pops happen at the same time of like drum hits or something like that let's say i have many different angles of the same scene and i want to show the viewer them then you, this is a chance for you to cut to the beat to make things flow nicely together So there's many different ways um, to cut to a beat. 
you can just use the obvious drum hits or you could get a little bit more subtle with it. This is especially useful if you're working on something with music, music videos or cinematic sequences where you're going to want to make sure the footage matches the pace of the music and a good way to do that is by matching some of the cuts to important elements that are happening in the music. Another thing that you can do instead of cutting to a different clip is actually cut away to black. That can be an interesting way to end a scene or sequence or even end a video as a little bonus option there. And finally, the fifth example of an effective use of cutting is by cutting to a different angle or shot or look within the same scene. So you can see what's going on from a different perspective, although this is just some mundane me setting up a desk. This could be used more cinematically in films if perhaps you were to cut closer in or closer out from a character's face or even perhaps move from an establishing shot at first, which just sets up the scene and location into a closer perspective of the same scene or location or even closer in on a certain object to give it focus. And these kind of all mix and play together. Uh, this cutting to a different perspective might also be cut to the beat, might also be a cutaway or a B-roll cut insert. One cut may be demonstrating multiple of these use cases at the same time and that's what's so cool about it. But these are hopefully five different examples for you to gain some ideas, get some perspective on different ways that you can use them. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave a like on below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to my channel here so you don't miss any of my future videos. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to stay in touch with me. Instagram DM is probably the best way to reach out directly. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.